As we've gone throughout the semester, we've delved into different topics about diversity, and for this video, I'm going to be talking about intergroup bias and intergroup contact. What intergroup bias is, is a bias towards one's own particular in-group, which is where you favor your particular group of people or friends over other groups. So an example I have for this is like when you're in a sports team. I was on a crew team and I know we had a lot of pride over rowing being more of a sport than football or track or anything. Um, so there was that bias because we felt that our sport was the number one sport over other people's. Uh, intergroup contact is the interaction with people that are different from you. So there's a theory that's talking about um, the more contact you have with different people, the more tolerant and respectful you are towards those people because then you have a better understanding of who they are. Um, I think a good example of um, what intergroup contact is is um, creating maybe a more diverse education system and when we try to integrate different groups together and creating a more multicultural experience for students as they go throughout their education system. Um, some different reasons why people do harm others that are different or they attack them is one, they have a fear of the unknown. There's differences and a lot of people are scared of those differences and of the unknown of like what those people are and what they can do. Um, and then number two is like trying to fit in with uh, their groups because maybe the friends around them are prejudiced and they just don't want to be seen as the outcast in that situation. Some different ways that I think we can reduce intergroup bias and, um, is by integrating diverse groups in our school systems. I'm studying to be a teacher and I'm taking a class on diversity in education. And I think that it is really, really important to create that diversity with students at such, such a young age so that those values are instilled through them as they go throughout their education, education system. Um, an example of this is in the classroom, the teacher can individually create a diverse group um, where there's students on high levels, students on lower levels, um, students from different religious backgrounds or ethnic backgrounds. Um, so that's going to help create uh, a better intergroup contact and reduce the intergroup bias. Another way is um, educating students and society on other diverse groups, providing those classes, not just in school, but in work or in college, um, so that people can get to know others on a social level and have a better understanding of where they come from, why they're different, and why that's important. And I think that um, an example of this is like providing those multicultural classes all the way from kindergarten up through university, um, university levels. Uh, some ways that intergroup contact changes behavior is that it creates a better environment of learning or a new environment of learning where you can begin to understand and respect those other people. You begin to know them as people themselves and you can have that that one-on-one -on -one relationship. Um, an example I have is um, I was I grew up in a very diverse neighborhood, a lower end neighborhood, and I went to a Title I Renaissance school. Um, so there were a lot of black and white kids just mixed together. My dad grew up in West Virginia. There was a lot of racism still there, and um, he was very prejudiced, and he voiced these opinions to me, but. By me being exposed to all of these other people, I developed a stance that I you don't need to be prejudiced, that you need to respect these people as people. Um, some different barriers to intergroup contact that I noticed in the video that we watched um, was that there's there used to be a belief of the opposite, um, that intergroup contact doesn't help, it actually hurts, and it creates more hostility and that there's worries that intergroup contact won't have an effect beyond that one-on-one -on -one person, that it won't actually affect the whole of everybody. 
Um, and then looking at the book, the barrier that we, we really need more than just surface knowledge of other people, that we need to have a better understanding and acceptance by delving deeper than just the facts. Um, some methods as to how we can fix these things is that education needs to lose the stigma of providing a better, interact, more interactive education model that brings students together by showing them that the differences aren't necessarily a bad thing. Um, I think that bringing people together is very, very important. And then another method I think that can be instilled is by encouraging diverse interaction in the workplace, allowing people to gain better knowledge and understanding um, of the people that they're working with and having more team building exercises and just instilling that unity value in school, workplace, and in general life.